Can you believe it, guys? Toys R Us, the toy store of my childhood and most of y'all's, is coming back with 24 stores plus some airports and cruise ships plus international. What a story. Let's check it out. Hey, yeah, welcome in, guys. It is the last day of September the 30th, 2023. Tomorrow is the beginning of fourth quarter in October the first, it's fall, it's Halloween season, it's all that good stuff, so welcome in, you guys. And all of you that are eBay uh, sellers and have a store basic or higher, uh, today is the last day to use your third quarter coupon code. I'll link it below. Go check it out. Uh, add everything to your cart, and it's under Manage Store Subscriber Discounts for your coupon. With that said, the story is Toys R Us is making a comeback. If you guys don't uh, remember, they finalized the last of their bankruptcy in 2021. They closed their last 700 35 stores besides some they have overseas in uh, I believe Asia and Canada and that was it however WHP group uh, which also owns Joseph Abode and I think Ann Klein and Bonobos they purchased the international or uh, excuse me the IP uh, the intellectual property rights of Toys R Us which is their name their website their social media all that stuff and they uh, are now claiming they're going to open 24 stores they haven't um, stated where they're going to open them yet here in the U.S. though and they're also going to open stores inside of airports and cruise ships with a partnership with Go Entertainment. Uh, they did announce the first airport store is going to be located in Dallas which is one of the busiest airports I believe top five in the country O'Hare in Chicago, Hartsfield in Atlanta, Orlando's airport, LAX and I believe Dallas falls somewhere in that top five or definitely in the top 10 of this country behind maybe JFK or, or Newark or one of the New York airports. But they're going to start with Dallas. They're going to open up 24 other locations plus cruise ships. And they're going to try to make a comeback. Now, they interviewed a USC, University of Southern California business major, Lars, uh, guy that says he can't see this working. And this is what I wanted to ask all of you here in my audience um, he says it could be a short-term play with nostalgia, especially considering they're not going to get them open by the Christmas season. They're not going to be open to shop on Christmas here. They're competing still with Amazon and eBay, obviously. Competing with Walmart and Target's rock bottom prices. Toys R Us was always on the expensive side. When KB Toys was open, it was always cheaper than Toys R Us. I remember that as a kid. Um, but he doesn't see this being a long-term play. That brick and mortar is dead, especially that business model. I think Toys R Us, if they could do the right pricing and have it in cruise ships and um, airports, novelty places where people will spend money, it could have a little success. But if they're talking about going back to open up all these retail brick and mortar stores, eh, I would stay away, run, run, run away from that. Uh, we did a story earlier this week on um, Lindy Glenn, God bless her, on her uh, brick and mortar experience and her bin store and other people having similar experiences. The brick and mortar days are dead. They're long gone. It is very hard to survive as a brick and mortar store. When you think at the brick and mortar stores that are surviving right now, they're either the big box retailers, Walmarts and Targets and things like that, uh, or they're restaurants and bars and beers and food and places that people have to have. Outside of that, I mean, what is recession proof or brick and mortar proof that could survive? What, a Victoria's Secret? They had big problems. A, a Bed Bath & Beyond, they're you know all but done. Bath & Body Works. Uh, see, somehow survives. I don't know. What are some stores that could survive that don't uh, necessarily get crushed by Amazon or Walmart? It, it's tough to pull any out of the hat anymore, right? So curious what you guys think. Does a Toys R Us comeback make sense? Are they going to survive? Are they going to do well? It's exciting because I shopped there. How many people here in the comment section shopped at Toys R Us as a kid? Grew up in the 90s, grew up in the early 2000s, and, and Toys R Us was that big store in 95, 96. You know, I was 10, 11, 12 years old, even in the early 90s when I was six, seven, eight years old, that was the store to go to. But I remember they were always overpriced. As I became a teenager and I got a job and I went to buy my own stuff, I realized how expensive Toys R Us was. When I became older, when I was in my 20s and I moved here to Florida and I would go to Toys R Us's, there was one that used to be right down the street from my old house. I realized how expensive it was when I would buy video games and you know there was no big Amazon in 2002, 2003, 2004 when I was, you know, you know basically 18, 19, 20 years old, you know buying my own video games, buying my own game consoles, buying my own um, you know, toys for nieces or nephews' um, birthday parties. I was like, man, this stuff is stupid expensive. I'll just go to Walmart. I'll go to Target or whatever. 
Um, and then, of course, once eBay and Amazon came into my life, it was just game on and never shopped at Toys R Us. So how many people can relate to that in the comment section? Uh, but I thought it was a fun story you guys could um, read and check out. I'll link it below as always. Uh, Toys R Us coming back with 24 stores, airports, and cruise ships. Uh, read the story below. Uh, there'll be a link directly to where I read it. Uh, New York Times and other uh, places are covering it. You can Google it as well. And uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. It is October 1st tomorrow, the official start of fourth quarter. If you need help clearing out your inventory, your death money piles, whatever you call them, getting them up and getting them for sale for all the customers who will be Christmas shopping, please let us know, proecommercelister.com. That's linked below as well with a discount code of 15% off, RSF1515. And uh, we'll help you get all your listings up. It doesn't hurt to give us a shot. Whether you buy 10 listings, 25, 50, 100, or 1,000, they never expire. You can use them the entire rest of the year and next year if you want. Appreciate you guys watching. As always, smash that like button. Hit the like button down below. It helps the algorithm, turns it blue, and it really means a lot to me. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos like Toys R Us coming back in 2023-24 with 24 stores plus cruise ships and airports. We'll see how it works out for them. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video.